So it's just going to be a battle of who can take each other off the top the quickest. Yeah, exactly. Is everyone is anyone missing Smash Four? Uh, Let's every day. Every day. <laughs> Let's boot up Lila. Let's show them how it's done as we get into top 32. It's Bloom versus 107. Uh, Bloom back on the Bayo that we know so well. Uh, second place at Bottles Battles last month and looking to pick up where he left off. Second place in a 10 game scenario. Yeah, and he didn't even lose to anyone from the UK. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The 107 is looking. Show them how it's done right now. Sent so far off stage. Gimped immediately. 24% on Bloom. Yeah, Bloom, one of these players that's amazing off stage. You don't want to be messing around at all versus him. Mario, not the worst recovery, but kind of linear. Uh, that's the kind of thing that Bloom will love to exploit. But 107, getting things going. Which other that platform? Not going to be able to carry it into the air, though. Colin Nair's coming out. Ooh, a bit of desperation in those capes. We can get the tilt and maybe make something happen. Dash back, dash forward. Ooh, there goes the up smash. That tried and tested maneuver that he's been using against Lids as well. Yeah, and uh, that was uh, just a, a raw side B on the ground from Bloom that I don't tend to see from him too much. So uh, maybe he's going to immediately realize that that's not a good idea versus Mario and going to cut it out. Straight up down tilt frame there is absolutely disgusting now as we get chased off stage. That fast fall is so, so strong. You're just dead. That, that narrow stage is a real problem for Mario, and uh, 107 has lost two very, very early stocks to it. Bloom. I think, like, damage wise, they probably hit each other around the same amount, but Bloom's killed him twice, and. Uh... Yeah, Bloom is making 107 look like a little mech right now. <laughs> yeah. He's very, very rough. 107 really needs to step up or come up with a different game plan. He's having to get a back air, but the DI from Bloom is going to be able to keep him safe for now. He's going to need a lot more than that if he wants to do it. Like a bit patient, but he didn't really have a plan there. Just dash back and a dash that forward. Is so but unfortunate. Speaking of gimps, he gimped himself by air dodging into the stage and bouncing off. <laughs> I've not actually seen that before. That's a really strange one. Bloom is <laughs> Bloom is one to shatter records right there. I, I don't want to gimp him three times. I want to get four gimps in my games. I want to get five. I'll kill myself as soon as I throw you off stage. Scoring some own goals to get on the score sheet a bit Exactly. More. There's the witch time. There's the fist. Send him up into the stratosphere, and that is game one going to Bloom. Two stocks to none. Yeah, it's just showing how much of another level Bloom is on. I don't think we've seen a dominating performance like that. Maybe Streaks uh, was kind of on the same level, but I think this was even further, like, just complete destruction of the game. Yeah. No, no discredit to 107 because we saw how well they played earlier, but, yeah, Bloom is just too good. Yeah, I would. Yeah, don't take it personally, 107. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's it's it'll happen to everyone eventually. I mean, yeah, Bloom in, comes for us all. They're in winner's side top 32 of a major. You can't really knock that. That's a very good showing. But Bloom Forever is probably the person that's going to win this whole event. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate to run into them, but it, someone's got to. Someone's <laughs> got to. Looks like you're going to be snapped up right now. Robbie fell before 107, and now 107 is going to look to make the comeback of a lifetime. Yeah, going to need to do more than just uh, adapt. They're going to need to... <laughs> Innovate. Yeah. Overcome. <laughs> yeah, all those like business marketing words. <laughs> yeah, okay. <don't> energize. <laughs> As a little cheeky bit of witch time coming out. I don't know if they expected the fireball or if they just wanted some style points. As we get the ladder into the air. Smash four, baby. Here we go. As a tilt going to send him off by 107. A little bit of space, but for how long now? As we get the falling up air. You can see Bloom's really looking for up the out shield. They've been, been out a couple of times, but just keep going for it because they get so much reward off every single one. Ooh, Ooh gonna get the two frame with that dash attack. Not gonna be able to do much, but a couple of jabs coming through. The fast fall. Ooh, gonna break his ankles. Wanted the miracle spike, but not gonna happen. It was Bloom. actually really close to landing yeah. as well. Bloom isn't finding the gimp this time unless he can squeeze one out right now. It's looking pretty good now. You're not coming back from that. Or are you? You are, but the combo is still going. Bloom's so ready for that turnaround. Up to back oh. air is going to find the kill. Missed tech into death. Unfortunate for 107 there, but not completely unwinnable now as he's going to look really relying on those forward tilts to buy himself space, but they're just not achieving anything. They'll get Bloom off you, but he's going to keep coming back. He's going to keep hunting you down. Your death is inevitable, 107. What will you do to overcome it? Yeah, and the, the, the combos from Bloom do so much damage as well. This is the thing that I think he's really pushed with Bayer is that every time you get a hit, you, you do like 40, 
Um, that just is enough to make Bayo a good character. I mean, like, yeah. They do have some weaknesses in this game, unlike in Smash 4, but they're still just very threatening once you get hit. And Bloom is very good at playing evasive until he can land that hit as we find the up air covering the tech chase. <laughs> just <laughs> controlling the space. Mono 7 finally finds a neutral air to break out disadvantage, but in neutral, it's just looked painful. Bloom is just sitting there recognizing what Mono 7 wants and just waiting for it, a slip up, really. And it's the issue, I think, with 107's game plan right now. He is preempting. He is just throwing out an option because if he reads it, it's gold. But if he doesn't, you're not getting anything. There's no consistency. There's no conditioning. There's no reading. You're throwing out up smashes. You're doing full hop back airs. It's not enough to take down Bloom right now. 107 with a bit of rage, though. Going to see if he can make it happen. Up smash, not going to connect. Neither is the backer out shield. Bloom put himself at ledge. Is this going to come back to bite him? Yeah, fantastic fast fall from Bloom there just to avoid any forward smash nonsense. Any kind of a catch by drifting just over the ledge of safety right there. As another up smash goes wide, Cyclone does as well, but the last hit going to keep him safe for now. As Bloom hits him with the retaliation. Ooh. The double back air, but still not killing. Bloom forever at 151%. Bayonets are pretty light. Uh, next straight hit for Mario should kill. Mario can definitely kill off a straight hit like a back air. You've got that right, and I can't help but feel stale moves are coming in to bite 107 right now because he's relying so heavily on those up smashes, on those back airs. They're just getting weaker now as the jab sends him off three stocks to one. Can 107 find a return? Can he find a gimp, a ladder, something, some way? Can he unplug his controller as he's sent into the air? Reset to neutral. Yeah, I think as soon as Bloom got that stock, they just really wanted to zero to death. You could kind of see the way they were just sat and just went for a raw side B. Agreed. It's like, I just want to get a clip right now. It was very close to coming out. I'm not sure if there was um, some good SDI coming out there from 107. Oh, there's the spike. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, I saw them go for that uh, a couple of minutes ago, but didn't work out this time. And Bloom surely not going to let it happen twice. But right now, 107 doing a good job keeping the space now. Gets the up air into the cyclone. Couple of ladders! Oh, if that had killed, that would have been incredible for 107. Really good stuff here, pushing his advantage, but now this could be it as the game comes through. The falling there, beaten oh, out once again. That looks coverage. like it could be it. <laughs> oh, Bloom! Bloom definitely going for the clips right now. <laughs> what a Chad. <laughs> You gotta respect it. it just, uh, top 32 is a long way to make it into a tournament. You're still like better than your opponent enough that you can just be going for things like that. And oh dear, oh. the up the out shield whiffs. Okay, but you've given 107 a chance. What can they do with it? If they can find a spike, there's the ladder coming up. He probably will go for a desperation up B. There's a desperation forward smash. They just really, really want it. You know, Blue might be fishing a little bit too hard. 107 is coming back right now, 91%. Maybe toying with his food a little too much. 107 could be able to bring it back now as he's sent into the air. If he... I forgot Bayonetta had guns because Bloom's just been stepping on him as the boot comes through, sends him very, very deep in to the side. Oh, sending a message, Jesus. Uh, and it's best of five, we're not done yet, but... <laughs> Bloom's got to be a bit careful. Playing with the food, like you said, that almost came back to bite him. Yeah. He could have lost that game. It was not out of the question. Definitely not. And uh, I think, yeah, 107 has recognized that um, if he just goes for things, uh, because Bloom is playing this very kind of relaxed, oh, I just want to do silly things kind of play style, but 107 can get in there and start doing some serious damage. There were some combos doing like, I don't know, 50, 60% there. Um, almost a very early kill off the top at one point. Yeah, if that had gone through, I'd really like to see how different this game could have been. We're getting into game three now. 107, going to make the reverse three. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I mean, Bloom has a habit of picking funny characters. This is uh, one of the funnier ones, <laughs> I guess. I could I've, agree with you. I've never seen the Bloom Belmont. I don't know if I want to see it, but if there's anyone who likes to put on a show, it's Bloom. So you got that uh, right. I mean, you say it's a funny character. In my opinion, it's quite try-hard because Richter is obviously the more competitively viable of uh, the two brothers. Oh just my. in case you didn't, uh, just in case nobody knew this, uh, better against uh, Olimar with the Holy Fire. Uh, it's probably the most common smash fact I think in the entirety of the scene, and I can talk about that yeah. because. If Bloom is going to take this seriously, 
<laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's 107 able to find. Ooh, not going to quite be able to get that down. Tilted forward smash. So into the air. He's got a little bit of rage to play with, but he's going to drift right into the waiting arms of Richter now. Good job avoiding this barrage of death as you get an amazing dash forward into grab. Is it going to be able to read the jump though? Yeah, Bloom. Oh, he's got sniped by the <laughs> holy fire with no fire. That just would have been an smacked him right in the forehead. Just threw a bottle at him. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he just got glassed. Really. Yeah. I mean. Sends him off right now. Going for it. Oh, good I stuff. Bloom's dead, you know. Yeah. There he goes. And he knew he was dead as well. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. The other thing is that because Richter's recovery is not very good, Bloom's not been able to go for these edge guards that have been so good, but I guess Ooh. you could just throw an axe off stage. That yeah, works you could too. do that. You yeah. don't have to go off stage. You got, you got, you've got kit. <laughs> Man came prepared. He's got the bottle. He's got the axe. He's got that right. And you know, you can, you can say like, ah, oh, haha, Bloom's picking uh, a goofy character now. But the problem is, 107 now has to completely re-download what's going on. Because Bloom's Richter isn't like any other Richter. It's still good. It's not troll. <laughs> it is getting kind of messed up. You got that uh, right. Mario, they're very good at edge guard. They're very good at long combos, and Richter hates that kind of situation. So, I mean, even this cape usage is finally coming into play now. It's the down tilted smash isn't going to be able to do much for him. Charging up that hydro tank wants to use it to get a gimp. Can he make it back? Can he get any kind of credit whatsoever? Doesn't read the retreating jump, but. Let's see if 107 can get a grab, get a Cyclone, send him off. There's the back air, but doesn't have quite that much knockback. It's quite funny, like, in this game, I, I get excited when I see 107 start a combo because I can, I can feel big damage coming. Ooh. That covered roll back. That's nuts. That's a huge call out from Bloom as well. Like, the only reason you go for S smash there is to cover roll back. That's crazy. Yeah, we have the OG Min Min. <laughs> we don't need DLC pack. Get stuck in there, see if we can get a string going, but the fast fall gonna beat him out. But the getup attack is outspaced as a little bit of a ladder coming out here. Let's see what's going on on the top floor, 107. Oh, calling out the jump, and uh, that's a scary situation for Mario. I'm gonna get so much there. Air dodge gonna be caught out as well. Oh, a little pause before going for the grab there. Wasn't quite sure if he was gonna make it. Oh, didn't want to go off deep. Maybe nerves, maybe just not feeling it, but the jab not gonna read the roll. Dash back, dash in, mixing up his movement, looking for an approach, holds the shield a little too late, and there's the grab. Could this be the gimp? Good the match. mash! And here's the back throw, that could be worse! Yeah, 107 looking really, really nice now, that the tether not working, Bloom's really stuck at ledge, and 107's been covering every option really yeah. nicely. Last frame of the Cyclone as well, what a clank! But it is going to be Bloom who's able to strike first, 107 at 90, looking so, so good, not able to reflect. The chain coming out. Is Bloom going to be able to hold this 3-0? Or is 107 going to find the grab, find the up special, find something? Oh. And it's the tried and true 107 special. Yeah, <laughs> if it doesn't work once, do it five more times and then it will hit. The up smash is so good, man. And you got to respect it. And I, I'm going to be honest, I don't respect Bloom Richter. <laughs> It, yeah, there's playing with your food and then there's going a character that I've oh, never seen. Oh, how yet. foolish of me, Chili. <laughs> I'm sorry. He didn't pick Richter. He picked random. <laughs> oh, did he? Well, we didn't get to see that on How the foolish oh, of okay. me. Okay, if it's random, then I don't know. This is highly disrespectful, but that's... But he's gone random again and 107 is tired of being messed around. We're going to see if he can take out the Falco. See what yeah. he can do here. Falco, notably a character that my nan could play, so uh, I think Bloom's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're friends with Pellies then, by any chance. They lab uh, Steve Falco together. Yeah. But so far, yeah. Uh, 107, I think, has actually got a lot of motivation from Bloom going it random and memeing on him a bit. And fair play to him. Yeah. Because I, I think some people would just crumple mentally, but 107's just taken it as like, how dare you disrespect me like this? I am going to win. <laughs> I'm going to take this to a game five and then you've got to take me seriously. Yeah, and like, ooh, the back end, not quite enough to finish him off. 107, he's drifting back, he's drifting forward. Good stuff from 107. Completely avoiding the aerial barrage that is Falco's entire fucking kit. He retreats back to stage now. Gets the grab. Oh, but he actually goes to the reverse up smash. Yeah, 107 went for about four up smashes in the space of 20, 10 seconds there, but uh, mixed it up with the grab eventually, so I guess you could call it nice conditioning. <laughs> Uh, the flood, 
they really want it. But it is conditioning Ooh. shield, and Bloom just jumps. When you've got a Mario out smashing this much, you've got to just respect it and hold that shield. Uh, 107 in the lead right now. We could be heading to a game five, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. He's doing very, very well now. Oh, but the last pixel, the last feather of that forward air. Even yeah, it it's that tricky one where like you think you've dashed back and so you punished it, but the move just lasts so long that you, you run into punish a little bit too early. Unfortunate stuff for 107. Bloom getting combo going right now off that parry. Yeah, Mario nearing out disadvantage is so annoying because then he just gets to pressure your shield. Oh, amazing fast fall from 107. Not able to get the grab, but he's able to get the reversing nair. Takes onto the platform. It is caught by the many, many hitboxes of Falco's aerials. And can he recover from here? It's not looking good. Excellent snipe coming out there from the Falco laser. And uh, now 107's in a tricky spot. But uh, just need a back arrow or, I mean, one of these patented up smashes. That yeah, just run in an up smash. He's just waiting to hit the ground. Oh, air dodge off stage. Here it comes. It's got to be now, surely. The back air sends him off. Can he gimp with the flood? No, we can't just yet. Oh, Ooh. I can't help but feel he wanted something there. Yeah, I think he just mistimed his back air into the ground and just kind of squished himself on the floor. He's going for it. Goes to the down throw. Oh, tries to read the drift back. Gets a double back air. But, oh, Bloom just unpunishable. Down tilt sends him up. 107's really, really got the talent of the heat now if he wants to take this set. Tries to dash out of range, but Falco's just got such, such strong horizontal momentum. Ooh, oh, gets the drag, drag down! down but it doesn't work out. Okay, once more, Bloom has kind of given 107 a little bit of hope. Uh, needs to be careful, but obviously, huge, right. huge lead right now. Oh, they're going to keep him safe. Gets the falling there, gets the up air. Right now, Spike not going to connect. I don't know if that was just a panic option or not, but 107. Come on now. It's now or never. It's Bloom forever. Falling off the side now. Forward smash not going to connect. That could have been it now. As he misses the tech into forward smash, and that's it. 107. I think 107 was surprised that killed. I was watching them in the player cam just there, and they were kind of rolling their eyes like, wow, that was 60% uh, of center stage. And uh, <laughs> I guess you just die. But um, they're both laughing about it. I, knowing Bloom, he probably asked if he could go random. He, that is the kind of guy he is. Bloom He's is so, so very lovely. Yeah. <laughs> For someone who could be such a bastard, they are probably the, <laughs> one of the nicest people in the scene. Very, very. No! Oh, all right, never mind, never mind. Right, so, sorry, little, little heart attack. Um, Bloom chose Bayonetta and then 107 click random. But it is going to be Bayo v Mario. We're going to see if 107 has gotten the download on Bloom or if Bloom has just been a good sport. Yeah, I'm trying to think back to the uh, the second Bayo game and I'm pretty sure um, it was actually kind of similar to these uh, the random games. But Bloom messed around a little bit too much and 107 got confidence. And I think confidence is so key right now. This could really bite Bloom. <laughs> You've got that right. 88 on Bloom forever right now. Not going to be able to get the out of shield now. Good spacing from 107. Going to be caught out anyway. Going to drop these shields a little bit too early. And it's going to be such an intense punish right there. Sends him so, so high up. Yeah. A pixel lower. And that could have been a death right there. The tilt's going to send him off. Not able to gimp him with the flood. Trying to read the jump now. Trying to read the roll as well. But he's already on the platform. 107 suddenly realized that these F smashes can be uh, a real clutch move. Keeping it dead even. Back throw isn't going to do it, but it's going to set up this offstage situation. And there's that drift that we were talking about. 107 is learning how to avoid these gimps, how to not give Bloom an angle. But one thing you've got to stop doing versus Bayo is short hopping in neutral. Oh, amazing maneuvering, but not quite enough. That was insane coverage. Went low and still was able to cover the neutral get up. DI mix up, almost killing Bloom. And, ooh, Could missing. have gone for a forward smash, but I wouldn't have believed it either. There's a Nair going to send him off once again. Goes for the flood. Isn't able to get an option out fast enough. Dash back, dash forward. Goes for the cyclone. Gets the back air dropped through the platform. And 107 cooking this in very, very respectable. But here comes Bloom. Big combo. Bayo stuff. Not getting the fair off the top, though. Facing the wrong way. But it's still going. And we're looking a lot more like game one and two. Yeah. Bloom forever at exuberantly high percents. Just absolutely giving 107 the business right now as the air dodge is crucial in getting him back safely. Cyclone going to go wide though. Missed the tech as well. But Bloom's coming for you. He's running. It. He's not going to stop. There's the jab. Yeah. 
That buff jab is kind of crazy. That was under the platform at 140 and it killed. Oh no, Bloom's just going for it now. Uh, but there's the up smash. There's the 107. 107 up smashes. <laughs> <laughs> You've got that right. Count them oh, as the drag down comes out. But you got a 1% trade, so you know. <laughs> oh, he sends it up. Not going to force a tech. Cape to try and mess up the tempo, but not going to fall for that one. Bloom forever. Caught! And there we go! With the string into the spike! Classic Mario combo, and suddenly 107 is back in it. Not for long, though. <laughs> not for long. It goes out with a blaze of glory. But it is going to be Bloom who takes home the set. That was one of the weirdest sets I've ever commented. I don't know what to say about that. Might have to agree with you. And it's very, very easy to look at this and be like, oh man, sucks to be 107, completely outclassed by uh, Bloom Forever. But no, absolutely not. 107 absolutely put in work, adapted, created openings, learned, drifted, avoided the nonsense that Bloom was going for.